How's it going guys? This is Wayne R back for another lesson. Or maybe it's the first lesson for, for the purpose of those who haven't seen me before. I'm doing a special lesson uh, today because on Saturday, April the 12th, 2014, it's Learn to Play Day. So I'm just going through, I've, I've actually done you know most of this in previous lessons if you want to check that out. But today I'm just going to be going through a couple of chords and a couple of riffs just basically to get you playing. So if, you, if you've never played before, you've got a friend who plays, or, or maybe you're a mum and dad that you know your daughter or your son plays, um, it's just something for you. If you've never played before, it can bring you so much fun, very fulfilling, it's much more constructive than watching telly all night or playing on a games console, you know, it's really fulfilling. So let's get cracking, okay? So if you've got a guitar ready, it doesn't matter whether it's an acoustic one like this or an electric one, we're going to be using obviously the same tuning. So the notes of the strings are as follows, because you're going to have to learn that first obviously to tune your guitar up. So the bottom string, what we call the bottom one, the thickest one, is an E. Okay? The next string down is an A. Then we've got a D, a G, a B, and an E. So the best way to remember that I always make a little rhyme up. Um, Eddie and Dave got blues early as a good one, or the, the one that the kids really like is elephants and donkeys got big ears. Okay, you can make your own up, whether it's a rude one or whatever. You know, you can you can make your own rhyme up, but as, as long as it helps you remember the notes of them strings, all good. So E A D G B E. So you're going to need a guitar tuner to obviously. You know, tune. I know I've done some lessons on tuning. If you want to go back and check them out, in my very first lesson, I talked about you know some tuners that you can get and some apps on on your phone that you can download. But for those of you who haven't got a tuner ready, you know we just want to get going really quickly. If you can tune up to the note of these strings, so we've got the E. This is the thickest one at the bottom. Again. Then we've got the A. That's the fifth string up from the bottom. Then we've got the D, fourth string up from the bottom. A G. Then we've got the B, second string up from the bottom. And then the finished one at the bottom is an E again. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you your first chord. We're going to get a couple of chords done today. So the first chord, okay, is an E minor chord, if you can see that there. Now the way this works, if I hold my guitar up like that, if you can see that. Now we've got what we call there the nut, and then you can see the metal frets going across, and then the, the lines that go down, are obviously your strings. Now you've got the thinnest one there, which is that one, going all the way up to the thickest one, which is the bottom one. So this is telling us that we need a second finger there, and then a third finger underneath it. And I'll just show you that now. So, so if we get the guitar, so we want the second finger is going to go on the second fret on the A string. Our third finger is going to go on the second fret on the D string. Okay. And we're going to play all the strings. Now we're strumming, rather than strumming straight down, we're going to be strumming in a little diagonal like that, okay? So we're not strumming up, we're just strumming down, and this should give you your E minor chord. The first chord I ever learned, great sounding chord. So, so that's an E minor, okay? Okay, so if we move both fingers down one string, just drop them both down one string, so now the second finger's on the... 2nd fret on the D string, the 3rd finger is on the 2nd fret on the G string, no jokes please, uh, and we're playing the bottom 5 strings, okay? Now this gives us an A sus 2, it should sound like that, okay? The bottom 5 strings. So we've got the E minor, and when you get really confident with them, you know, you can practice Changing between the two, or maybe even putting some strumming in. Down up, 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 down up. Okay, so you got 
that down. That's two really easy chords, obviously, you know, the two first chords that I ever learned, just uh, what we call open chords. Okay, so now I'm going to show you a couple of riffs. So the first one is, a, is an oldish one, everybody should know it. Hit the road jack. Okay, so and this one we're just going to be playing it on one string, which is the, the bottom E string, which is the thickest string, okay. And we've, we've got it, it's like reading tab this is, I'm not going to get too much into tab for the first lesson, obviously I've covered some of that on my other lessons. But for the purpose of this uh, lesson, we're just going to, so the frets are as follows, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and so on, okay. So hit the road jack is... Okay, so I'm going to talk you through that now. You don't have to use all your fingers at the moment because as a beginner you won't have the separation in your fingers yet. So we can use one finger, that's fine at the moment. So, so we're going five, three, one, off, or zero. So that's open string, okay? So five, three, one, off. Five, five, three, one, off. Okay, so five, three, one, off. Okay, so that's it, the road jack. And then another one, everybody should know, is Eye of the Tiger, which is obviously famous off, off the film Rocky, Rocky 3, to be precise. So. Okay, so breaking that one down, that's seven. Seven five seven, seven five seven, seven five three. Okay, again a bit slower. So seven, seven five seven, seven five seven, seven five three. Okay, so that's been very useful for you, and I hope that's inspired you. If it has. Please check out my other lessons, please subscribe, uh, you know, spread the word and I will see you for another lesson very soon.